Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? The hour has come for the College of New Jersey commencement ceremony to begin. As the College of New Jersey Wind Ensemble fills Lions Stadium with music celebrating our graduates, including the familiar strains of pomp and circumstance, I ask that you combine the joy and fulfillment of the occasion with your attention, respect, and the dignity befitting commencement here at the college. Leading the processional this afternoon, we welcome the School of Engineering Class of 2023, led by graduate Sean Healy.
Welcome the School of Engineering faculty. To conclude our processional, now entering the stadium is the President's Party, led by Grand Marshal Dr. Abby O'Connor and the TCNJ Army ROTC Color Guard. member of the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey. 
I hereby call to order the 2023 commencement ceremony for the School of Engineering. It is an honor and a pleasure to welcome you and all of those watching via our live webcast to these exercises which celebrate our newest graduates as they join the ranks of our distinguished alumni. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I offer the graduates heartfelt congratulations on their exceptional achievements and their extraordinary promise. At this time, I present to you Dr. Abby O'Connor, Professor of Chemistry and Grand Marshal. Thank you, Ms. Horn. We will begin our program today with the singing of the national anthem led by Cassidy Leonardis, a member of the class of 2023, accompanied by the TCNJ Wind Ensemble. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the singing of the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last leaving whose broad stripes and bright stars Please be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce to you the 16th president of the College of New Jersey, Dr. Catherine Foster. Thank you, Dr. O'Connor. It is an honor to add my welcome on this joyous occasion, the 2023 commencement exercises for the College of New Jersey. Before we begin today's ceremony, allow me to note that our TCNJ photography staff will briefly fly a drone over the stadium end zone to capture unique photos of this special occasion. Now let me introduce honored participants who will not otherwise be introduced during the ceremony. I ask each group to stand upon introduction and remain standing until we have recognized the group. First, I ask to please rise members of college leadership, the College of New Jersey Board of Trustees, the President's Cabinet, and members of three important advisory boards of the college, the TCNJ Foundation, the TCNJ Alumni Association, and the Trenton State College Corporation. Thank you for being exceptional partners to this college and for your attendance today. Please join me in recognizing their immense contributions to the college. Please be seated. I now ask members of the TCNJ School of Engineering faculty and Emeriti faculty to please rise. Graduation does not, cannot happen without these indispensable members of our community. As dedicated, talented, creative, and award-winning teachers, 
advisors, mentors, and scholars, you have given over and above to prepare our graduates for this day, to ready them for their next chapter, and to generate their fond memories of the college. Please, students especially, join me in extending our deepest thanks and appreciation to your faculty. Thank you, please be seated. With the members of our talented and dedicated TCNJ staff, many of whom are at this moment working the event, please rise if you are able. You have nurtured our graduates from before they enrolled as students and throughout their time on campus. Your care is further reflected today. Plants and chairs neatly placed, audio loud and clear, live streaming underway, programs published, diplomas readied, no detail left untended. Graduates, please join me in extending our fondest thanks and gratitude to our dedicated TCNJ staff. Thank you, please be seated. Commencement is a proud moment in the life of a college and a very proud milestone in the lives of our degree candidates. Class of 2023, this celebration in your honor and the degree you will receive signal a significant and meaningful milestone. From this day forward, no matter where life takes you, you will be a graduate of the College of New Jersey, one of the nation's finest institutions of public higher education. Class of 2023, on this day when we honor you, please allow me a personal reflection. I hardly remember my college graduation. And what I recall at all is largely because of pictures taken that day. I do remember the now mythologized party the night before, although the less said about that, the better. I also remember who the keynote speakers were, a bizarre combination of a Navy admiral and Dick Cavett, the TV talk show host, whom you may never have heard of, but I'm guessing a few people in the audience have. I do not remember, however, what either of the keynoters said, nor what the president or anyone else offered that day. So it is in that light that I have no illusions about what you may recall several decades from now, or even next week, about anything that I or others say at your college graduation. What I do hope you remember, though, aside from your party the night before, is that we all came to celebrate with you, that we are full of pride and respect and excitement at what you have achieved, that you know how grateful we are for all that you have brought to us at the college, that we are here with and for you. Class of 2023, thank you for persevering, even when it wasn't easy, even when your mind was elsewhere, even when campus was closed during critical periods of your college career. Thank you for your energy and activism. Thank you for making our campus more accessible, diverse, inclusive, and sustainable. Thank you for authoring papers, creating projects, presenting your research, organizing events, reforming policy, leading our teams to victory, and beautifying our lives with your acting, singing, dancing, art, music, and design. Thank you for raising funds, serving our greater community, volunteering, and leading. In short, thank you for making this place a better place. We hope, we hope that we have given something in return. We hope your courses stretched your mind and that you discovered passions and developed skills. 
We hope you talked deeply with people who are different from you in background and viewpoints. We hope that you contemplated and reflected on your values and convictions. We hope that you found opportunity, confidence, friendship, and joy. Most of all, and considering all that happened over the last four years, we hope that TCNJ has been there for you and that we helped you to find your uniqueness and your sources of comfort and strength. And so I say, on behalf of a proud and grateful college, thank you, congratulations, and here's to you, class of 2023. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce your dean, Dr. Andrea Welker, dean of the School of Engineering. Thank you, President Foster. I joined the TCNJ community in July, so it is truly an honor to be standing on this podium for the first time with all of you here. One of the best parts of being in higher education is seeing how this experience can be so transformative. As graduates of what I believe is the best engineering school in New Jersey, you should be immensely proud of all that you have accomplished since you have arrived. Your hard work, dedication, and countless hours of studying have brought you to this moment, and your presence here today is a testament to your commitment to that excellence. As the stress of senior projects fall away, I hope you take a moment to reflect on how far you have come and what you have achieved. I also encourage you to take a moment to be grateful. There are studies that show that people who are grateful are happier. So spend some time today and every day reflecting on what you are thankful for. I, for one, am grateful for young engineers and educators like you poised to make a significant impact on the world. From solving complex problems to educating others, you can shape the future in ways that few others can. I am convinced that you will make the world a better place. Today, we also remember one of our fellow students we lost during your time at TCNJ, Matthew Palmer. In his memory, we have placed a ceremonial hood and commencement program on a seat in the front row. We continue to think about and remember him, and despite Matthew Palmer's absence, we know he would have been proud of your accomplishments. In closing, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. I have no doubt that you will continue to do great things in the years to come, but don't forget about us. Let us know how you are doing. Consider paying it forward to the students that will come behind you. You will always have a home in the School of Engineering at the College of New Jersey. Congratulations, graduates. The staff in the School of Engineering have selected one student to address the graduating class. It is now my pleasure to introduce Chantiri Lamb, member of the class of 2023. Thank you, Dean Welker. Esteemed faculty, distinguished guests, and the graduating class of 2023. I ask you to immerse yourself in absolute gratitude on this very special occasion. Thank you to the individuals in the stands and those that are watching at home that have helped shape us into who we are and helped catalyze our growth both within ourselves and in the world around us. Thank you to the faculty and staff for motivating our success and development. Thank you to TCNJ's dining staff and maintenance staff who helped make this place feel more like a home. And thank you to the individuals that have impacted our <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just gonna do it without. Um, thank you to the individuals that have impacted our lives but are no longer here today. We owe you in ways we will never be able to measure. 
To the graduates who know their life plan past today, congratulations. And to those who don't and are only sure of where their feet are, congratulations as well. We all are more than capable to grow and adapt to the situations around us. Understand that change is scary, but staying stagnant is way scarier. Now four years have flown by since our convocation, but I wonder if we've learned the greater lesson. So today I implore you to, be, to become sponge-like. Soak up every experience life has to offer and squeeze out those that weigh us down and no longer serve us. We have long lives to live and each day of those lives offers a new experience and potentially a new memory. Too many times we see parents so wrapped up in work that they forget to, sorry, so wrapped up in work that they miss out on core memories in their child's life. Too many times we wish for the next event that we neglect the small glimpses of light that occur in the time between. And too many times we wish away the sleepless nights and misery that school brings that we blink and realize that in five minutes we're gonna walk across the stage and never get that time back. Life is so precious and so valuable. Soak it all in. Soak up the bad and the good because in the end, they contribute equally to who you are. It is terrifying to only start living the moment you realize you only have one life. But can we recognize how much scarier it is if that realization occurs when you're 80 or worse if it never occurs? Now, had I realized this earlier, I probably would have cherished my time in Wolf a little more. <laughs> I probably would have stayed up a little later with my friends, and I definitely would have been more open to making mistakes. However, what I do know now is that the time I spent in the mech lab, surrounded by all of you, is the time I will cherish the most. It is that memory, along with so many more, that are getting me through difficult times, since those are just inevitable. Life goes entirely too quickly. You cannot limit your perspective. You can't request time to pass quicker just to request for more time in the end. We don't need time. What we need is passion and presence. Remember that the best relationships were first unplanned. Remember that the greatest successes were first, great, were first faced with great adversity. And remember that the common denominator between those experiences required you to be present. Don't miss out on the greatest things in life waiting for something better. Live where your feet are and love with an open heart. Don't put yourself in a position where you'll eventually regret where you are today. Thank you and good luck on your future endeavors. Chantiri, thank you for your inspiring and uplifting speech. Before I present the Student Achievement Awards for the School of Engineering's Class of 2023, I would like to recognize those students receiving institutional Latin honors. Listed in the program are the names of graduates earning Latin honors, that is, overall GPAs of 3.6 or better on a 4.0 scale. These students have been given a gold tassel to wear on their regalia. On this academic occasion, let me take a moment to further recognize you by asking you to rise at your seat when I identify your Latin designation. Will the 17 baccalaureate candidates earning cum laude designation signifying a cumulative GPA of 3.6 to 3.74 Please rise if you are able or wave. All right, please be seated. Will the 20 graduates earning magna cum laude designation signifying a cumulative GPA of 3.75 to 3.89, please rise if you are able or wave. Please be seated. 
And will the 11 of you graduating summa cum laude, our highest academic distinction, signifying a GPA of 3.9 or better, please rise if you are able or wave. Please be seated. Congratulations, your academic distinction is impressive. If you are wearing a red and silver cord, please rise. By passing the fundamentals of engineering exam, the students wearing these cords have taken, taken the first step towards being a licensed professional engineer. Congratulations on your accomplishment. Please be seated. Next, I will present the Student Achievement Awards. The awardees are hearing about this for the first time today. I will give a brief description of each award, then announce the awardees by department for that particular award. When I call your name, please stand in place at your seat. Remain standing until I ask you to be seated. The Armstrong Scholar Award is given to the student with the highest grade point average in their degree program. This year, the Armstrong Scholar awardees are Kevin Kowalski for Biomedical Engineering, Sean Healy for Civil Engineering, Christopher Clems Electrical Engineering, Nicolette April Tumas, Computer Engineering, Richard Swartz, Technology Education, Kyle Michael Rosica, Mechanical Engineering, and Timothy Albano, Engineering Science. Congratulations and please be seated. Next, we will recognize the recipients of the Fred O. Armstrong Leadership Award. This award is given to a graduating senior from each program who have displayed outstanding leadership during their time at TCNJ. This year's Fred O. Armstrong Leadership Awardees are Justin Illis, Biomedical Engineering, Charlotte Rorty, Civil Engineering, Matthew Bohr, Electrical and Computer Engineering, Richard Schwartz, Technology Education. John Pakora, Mechanical Engineering. And Samuel Akinlolu, Engineering Science. Please be seated and congratulations. The Conrad Johnson Award is given to graduating seniors for outstanding overall craftsmanship in their senior design project. This year's awardees are the iVenture team, which are Rahi Desai, Kevin Kowalski, Kwame Markin, and Tanya Sood from Biomedical Engineering. The Steel Bridge Group for Civil Engineering. <laughs> Charlotte Rorty, Sean Healy, Connor Cunningham, Owen Solar, and Paige Rocco. <laughs> Naya Harish for Electrical and Computer Engineering.
Ryan Hanawacker for Technology Education. And Thomas Egan, Mechanical Engineering. Congratulations and please be seated. The next award is the Vincent W. Dresser Service Award. This award is given to graduating seniors for outstanding service to their department, the school, and the college. This year's awardees are Patrick Sullivan for Biomedical Engineering, Ismael Nunez for Civil Engineering, Nithya Nalori for Electrical and Computer Engineering, Richard Swartz for Technology Education, and Timothy Albano, Mechanical Engineering. Please be seated and congratulations to all of our awardees for your achievements and excellence. To the students receiving these awards, please be sure to stop at the sundial after the ceremony to pick up your award. I now ask President Foster to return to the lectern. In a moment, we will confer degrees, after which graduates will hear their name called and will walk across the stage. Many are wearing cords or stoles to signal academic, leadership, or organizational honors and affiliations. These symbolic adornments reflect the significant contributions you have made to the college. May they remind you of your achievement and our gratitude for your commitment and service. It is now my pleasure to ask Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs Jeffrey Osborne and Dean Welker to come forward to present the candidates for degrees. Thank you, President Foster. The conferral of your degree marks the culmination of your hard work and academic persistence. The movement of the undergraduate candidates' tassels from the right to the left is a symbolic gesture of the conferral of the degree. Dean Welker will now present the undergraduate candidates for their degrees. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, the President will officially confer the degrees. Provost Osborne and President Foster, the candidates from the School of Engineering whose names appear on the printed program and who have successfully met the requirements for their degree are hereby certified by the faculty for the receipt of their degrees. Will the candidates from the School of Engineering for the following degrees, Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Engineering Science, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, and for our education students, Bachelor of Science degrees, please stand. President Foster. Are you ready? Because this is it. All right. <laughs> Candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Engineering Science, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, and Bachelor of Science. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of New Jersey, and in recognition of your attainments in completing the requirements, I confer upon each of you the degree you have earned and admit you to all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. You may move your tassels from the right to the left as a symbol of your accomplishment. Congratulations, graduates.
You may be seated. Before we begin the graduate roll call, I have the following instructions for our graduates. When your field marshal asks you to rise, you will follow them to the stage. When you hear your name called, please walk across the stage and I will hand your diploma cover to you. We then ask that you proceed down the ramp and return to your seat. Dr. Anthony Lau, Dr. Anthony Deese, Dr. Ambrose Edishbegi, Dr. Thomas Brennan, Dr. Manuel Figueroa, and Dr. Karen Yan will serve as your name readers. I will now read the names of the graduates from the Department of Biomedical Engineering. Shantiri Lamb. <laughs> Timothy Rodriguez Nerveza. <laughs> Andrew Zhao. Arish Iswayara Era. Patrick Joseph Sullivan, Jr. Angelo A. Scala. Michael S. Merritt. Kevin A. Kowalski. Rahi Manev Desai. Tanya Sood. Wami Markin. Sarah Elizabeth Gilday. Cindy Nguyen. Janique R. Hawks. Elise Idelis Denoto. <laughs> Doria Janelle Hoffman. <laughs> Valentina L. Palomo. Rahul Panoli. <laughs> Daniel Reed Siegel. Andrew Glenn Mayer. <laughs> Michelle Nicole Myers. Sabrina Stephanie Vanderweel. <laughs> Julia L. Vardaman. <laughs> M. 
Anastasia Kodak. Kevin S. Rodriguez. Thomas Harold Smith. Ismael Montero Rinaldi. Allison Lee Burton. Rachel L. Panetta. Rachel Elizabeth Holden. Justin T. Illis. Lindsay G. Rotoli. Jessica Hope Longstreth. This is for civil engineering graduates. Connor Cunningham. Sean Healy. Owen Stanford Solar. Sydney Ryan Granholm. Sarah Maria Loverich. Paige Brianna Rocco. Charlotte Worty. Rachel Hanna. Haley Conway. Anthony Cooper. I'm gonna do the whole thing. P. Patrick Fee. <laughs> Mark Steven Giordano. Kevin Vente. Evan Graskevich. Mon Patel. Sean Glynn. Ryan McGuire. Jack Lucia. Almost.
Ismael Nunez. <laughs> Nicholas Scalafani. Kevin Christensen. Zachary Hauptman. Tyler James Morelli. Madison Lentz. Alexa Carpus. Anthony Santosiro. Darshit Patel. Melissa Wences. I will now read the names of those receiving Bachelor of Science degrees in electrical or computer engineering. Charles Joseph McBride III. Derek Thomas Dances. Justin Thomas Mazzatelli. Joseph Richard Stahl. Nicholas Robert Capello. Brian Puccio. Claude Matthew Lund. Jacob J. Ringers. Warlis Lizardo. Benjamin J. Winkler. Patrick M. Murphy. Jack Canfield Del Vecchio. Darian Javon Parks. Christella Noel Lou Nicolette April Tumaz Nithya Naluri
Michael D. Franco Garcia. Elizabeth Grace Lopez. Matthew J. Bohr. Nia Harish. Nicole Camille Lim. Gianna Sky Nieves. Joelis Brito. Christopher John Klemps. Argenis Marmolejos. Nicholas Alviar. Zane Shake. And now I will read the names of the graduates of the Department of Integrative STEM Education. Te Daniel Sebastian Persoe. Thomas J. Foti. Tyler Thomas Roses. Gabriela Oliveira Sage Lopez. Richard Matthew Swartz. Peter Charles Egan. Ryan Jonathan Hanawalker. Alyssa Roseman. Lauren Grace Giordano. Danielle Rose Siriani. Ashley Nicole Benson. <laughs> Kellyanne Biancamano. Sarah Alana Posen. Drusilla Faith Akinyi Kojum.
Isabella Maria Quesagran. Joseph F. Caporel, Jr. Here's our graduates from Mechanical Engineering program. Harris Alam. Matthew Avery Martinez. Yeah. Tyler Brenner Griffin. Yeah. William Edward Heidelberg. Sufyan Zakari. <laughs> Zachary David Hem. <laughs> Thomas Muro Shevich. Michael Brandon Cunningham. <laughs> Kyle Michael Rosica. <laughs> Frank T. Battaglia. Christopher Andrew Alfuso. <laughs> Jacob H. Plunges. <laughs> Jonathan Michael Pokora. Christopher James Quinnan. <laughs> Anthony John Russo. <laughs> Stephen J. Pedroza. <laughs> Eric Boris. <laughs> Andrew Foster Gutman. Amanda Edis Wisniski. Thomas J. Ramil. Yeah. Michael F. Boney. <laughs> Gabrielle Flora Gunella. Aiden Christopher Storman.
Maxwell Jacob Carter McMahon. Catherine Rose McKenna. Tyler J. Fudoko. Austin Paul. Reed Thomas Carico. Nicholas Paicho Mariallo. Kiara G. Abriel. Anthony J. Peza. John Joseph Roach the Fourth. Andrew Hamilton Heinrich. Daniel Joseph Sweeman. <laughs> Thomas Brian Egan. Okay, okay. This is for engineering science graduate. Jacob Thomas Stephan. Samuel O. Akinlulu. <laughs> Timothy James Arbano. Another rousing round of applause for our graduates. Before we conclude our commencement exercises for the class of 2023, there is one last thanks to give. Graduates, this is your achievement but it very likely came with abundant support and encouragement. Will all the family members, friends, and loved ones who have come today to celebrate with a graduate, please stand if you are able. Graduates, whether your loved ones are here today or not, please rise, turn, and give those standing here and watching online a much deserved round of thanks and appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing or rise for the singing of the alma mater led by Cassidy Leonardi's class of 2023 with the video produced by Jennifer Ahmad and audio produced by Jody Maloney, both from the class of 2022. The words to the alma mater appear on the back cover of your program.
You may be seated. Before we begin our recessional, I ask all graduates and guests to please help us prepare for our next ceremony by not leaving programs or water bottles at your seat. Graduates, please follow the instructions of your field marshal to recess from the stadium. Guests, please follow the instructions of our staff volunteers to exit the stadium as swiftly as possible using the gates to your right or left. In a moment, I will formally close the commencement ceremony, but I have one last instruction for our graduates. Some of you have decorated your mortar boards, and others of you have pinned them in. But if you are inclined to toss your mortar board high in the air at this milestone moment, please get ready, for this is that moment. This is for the cameras, too. All gathered as I formally close the 2023 commencement ceremony of the College of New Jersey, I invite graduates to toss their caps if they choose as we offer one final rousing round of applause for our graduates. Thank you. And now please retrieve your cap and follow the directions of your field marshal. <laughs>